with this show, a lot of the people listening are, you know, are trainers or people within the industry. Like for the trainers out there that are listening, like from a technical standpoint, so when it comes to nutrition and training, like what are two or three things that you think most trainers are generally not doing that are stopping them from getting transformations with their clients? Because obviously, you know, with your background, it's all, it's, it's been all about client comes in out of shape, overweight, and then at the end of 12, 24 weeks, they're in shape. Um, you know, what have you, what do you feel that you've done that maybe a lot of trainers aren't doing that are stopping them from doing what you've done? Um, in general, as in working with a client or just... Yeah, like just, you know, whether it's kind of how you're prescribing your nutrition, your training, your approach to setting them up for a kind of transformation. Like what are some of the key kind of, um, you know, top tips that you could give fit pros out there, you know, around kind of the, the Mark Carroll method? Yeah, well, the way I've got always kind of looked at working with people, you know, I have a time frame of working with people. So you kind of want to set goals for, all right, what's achievable in 8, 12, 24 weeks. I feel like a lot of trainers do, all right, let's sign them up for a five-pack of sessions and then a five-pack of sessions. And there's, <laughs> they're just happy to have the client. The goal is to retain the client for as many sessions as possible. How, how many sessions can I keep this client coming back and paying me money? Um, whereas the goal to me should be you're not signing up for a pack of sessions, you're signing up for a clear-cut goal. Um, so that's the way I kind of look at coaching is, okay, let's, you've signed up with me for a reason. What is your most specific um, down to the exact point goal? And then we kind of take it from there. Um, and obviously a lot of people come to me too because they want to look better, be stronger, whatever. Um, so I think that initial consult, it's really setting goals, but really being specific what you want to do. And I don't think a lot of, coaches really do that as i said they're just happy to have a client they're just happy having having someone pay their money um and they focus on oh shit what can i do to keep this client coming back instead of oh shit what can i do to get this person the most epic result possible um and the way i kind of look at it is everything needs to be um in synergy with that goal the training and the nutrition it's not i know a lot of people kind of do the the lowest hanging fruit kind of method, like let's just, you know, let's just start with this step first and let's start with in two, three months, let's start with that step. And I don't feel like a lot of people ever get that much momentum. And when you don't get momentum, you start to doubt yourself as a client, you doubt your trainer and then you give up. So for me, I like to tackle all variables, you know, training, nutrition, um, lifestyle, stress, you get those things right from the start, all of a sudden you get a lot of momentum, you get a lot of momentum, then the client um, leads to buying into you and buying into that they can actually do big things. Um, so for me, it's um, really looking at getting a person momentum, doing the little things well um, from the start, and that really really sets a tone for those weeks. And then, you know, as I really like having that goal, that end goal, you know, it, it, it doesn't, it might be, you know, lose 10 kilos, it might be, um, whatever it is, it's just you're trying to hold yourself, the client, and yourself accountable to those goals and constantly reflecting on those goals. Are we working towards it? Um, I think a lot of people just kind of hope for the best and just be like, well, we'll see where we end up. And for me, it's not a comp prep with general population clients or anything like that, but I like the way that with like a comp prep, you have a set date when they want to be there. You've got a specific date. You know, it might be on a 10, 10 level back scale working with a general population client, but still having goals, having having a plan, periodizing your programs, and yeah, just having a, a really strategic plan of how to take a client from point A to point B, and then relaying that message back to the client, I think is really important. So they're in, they're not just turning up and thinking, you know, I'm here, I'm happy I got here from work, I'm just, you know, I'm gonna come twice a week and that's it. It's really turning up for a purpose.